Hi, this is Kevin for Pixavert.com. You guys are gonna love this video. We're gonna be looking at tints in Photoshop, basic color tints. And we're gonna be using a couple of techniques that are really simple to use, but very effective. So we are going to start off by creating a solid color layer. We can start off with any color, hit OK, and change the blending mode to color. Now what you'll notice is that we get this color overlay and we can double click and choose a different color. As long as the hue is selected, we can select any of the 360 different colors. Once we've got a color that we like, what we can do is to choose the saturation. Just go for high saturation or low saturation and then choose the brightness and either go for an intense brightness or slightly less intense brightness. One thing to notice with all these techniques is that if you take the brightness down to zero, you get black and white. If you take the saturation down to zero, you also get black and white. This is a pretty good way of creating black and white images, I think, and it's one that I use fairly frequently. However, we're going to be looking at color tinting, so we're going to choose a color. And what I want to do is to demonstrate how you, why, how you might go about choosing, say, for instance, a rose tint. We'll start off by choosing our hue. So we select the H for hue, select zero, which is red, and then choose the saturation. One thing you can do is to either choose the saturation here and then choose the brightness here as well until you get something that looks like a rose tinted image. Alternatively, you can just select the hue, click somewhere in the middle here, and then just move towards the upper part for greater brightness. Towards the right gives you greater saturation. You can just basically sample different areas until you get something that looks like what you're looking for. And this is a bit quicker perhaps, or you might find using the radio buttons there a little bit quicker. One thing to notice is that with the tint produced by the color mode, you do get a complete color transformation. This is something that you can tone down using the opacity. But there's an alternative way of working and that's to choose the hue mode. The hue blending mode is less powerful than the color mode. If we double click here, if I choose saturation and change the saturation, you'll see that nothing changes. And again, for the brightness, nothing changes. Once again, if we take the brightness or the saturation down to zero, we do get black and white exactly the same black and white as with color mode. So when you're working with the hue mode, you need to just click on the hue and select whatever hue you want for your transformation. Now one interesting thing about the hue mode is that it doesn't affect the image quite as much as the color mode. So for instance, if we put this on hue and look at the model's eyes, you see that the whites of the model's eyes have remained more or less the same color as they were. And again, this white cloth here has not been strongly colorized, whereas the skin is really standing out. And also this colored cloth is standing out. If I just switch this off, you see that where we've got intense colors, we get intense colorization. And where we've got white, no color, we don't get intense colorization. So you sometimes get a really interesting effect where it looks, for instance, like this woman has got blue skin and it's far more realistic than the color mode, which just produces an artistic effect. So sometimes you might want to experiment with the hue mode. This is something I find useful, maybe when dealing with fairly high quality images and you just want slightly more impact. It's very useful to have areas of white, black or grey, as well as areas of intense colour so that you get the most out of the blending mode. Otherwise, just stick with the colour mode, which I, I think is by far and away the more powerful one. Now, that's basically the two techniques for creating simple tints in Photoshop. Again, you can lower the opacity, but I want to demonstrate another blending mode, which is the soft light mode. This sometimes can be too intense. If you double click here, bring up the saturation, bring up the brightness, you see it does get too intense. But if we work with 
medium saturation reasonable brightness you can see that we can we can get fairly interesting tints happening and they're slightly more slightly more varied and they're really quite different from the other blending modes that we were using so this is a third alternative that you might want to try out finally what I want to demonstrate is that you can do your tinting either using the adjustment layer the color adjustment layer or you can actually go down here so let me just click here copy this exact color now we've got this on color mode but I'm going to click on the layer itself I've switched the color layer off I'm going to double click on the image layer and what I'm going to do is to go down to color overlay click here it's going to paste in that color that we selected before I'm going to change this to color mode hit OK and what I want to show you is that this can be turned on and off and it produces exactly the same result as using an adjustment layer so this is an alternative way of working and it's just as flexible you've got all the blending modes there soft light you've got your hue blending mode you can do just as much with this technique as you can with an adjustment layer the really cool thing about this is that it's all on one layer you don't need a separate layer and you can just tuck it away there in the layer where it operates and end up with a really clean layers panel if you prefer that way of working so that's a different way of working which produces the same result and I hope you find some of these techniques useful I hope you do try them out uh, I think they're lots of fun so that's it for this video thanks for watching take care until next time bye